All right. All right, let's take a look at the boat. So we've had the boat a couple of years now. Triton CTX, the crappie version. The crappie version, uh, 18 foot boat by Triton. You know, it's all aluminum. I've owned it a couple of years and just want to share some information about it, put it on YouTube and uh, do some updates. Uh, really, not so much updates since you haven't seen it before. But anyway, it's the uh, Triton 18 CTX. Right there, all right. So, um, hmm. 18 foot boat, 115 Pro XS, uh, command thrust, uh, runs about 45 miles an hour with a couple of people in it loaded up. 46, 45, 44. Um, you know, I'm hearing that on on the internet, on YouTube. Other guys are saying it does the same thing. So I'm not really planning on playing with it with a jack plate, doing anything with a motor, everything. It's acting like I want. Um, I added the micro anchor to it. Um, don't use it as much as I'd like, but it's there, it's handy. Poles out of the way over there. Got plenty of room on that side of the boat. Uh, okay, so for those that don't know, a gas tank, three batteries, charging, uh, three bank charger underneath there. Um, the good, bad, and the ugly on the boat. Overall, the boat's great. Just recently changed to Millennium seats uh, for the front and back. They're uh, definitely much better. Uh, the Triton seat's not very comfortable. Uh, seen some guys where they're getting some splitting in these seams on theirs. theirs. Mine's two years old almost, and and no no seam tears um plenty of dry storage underneath stays perfectly dry i noticed gerald swindle puts uh some seam uh some uh, foam 3m tape around some of these uh not so much that one maybe but maybe so you can hear it banging and knocking in here you've got an insulated cooler this thing will keep ice two or three days it's foam field behind it this this does not come out some people use it for storage for your planos uh, tackle boxes, but I'm using it. This one, this is my cooler side. Works great for a day. Um, rear live well, you know, the crappie version, uh, it's talked about a lot having two live wells, two live wells. I don't really need two live wells, uh, but the boat has two. I use the rear. Um, it's the one operated here by the, uh, the auto, uh, auto empty recirculate for the rear, uh, live well. Um, again, front bait well, rear live well. Uh, I have burned up the, uh, the pump for the uh, front live well by leaving it on. So you gotta be real careful with that. But I really just think I wanna unhook the, um, the pump for the uh, front live well altogether and use that switch maybe for something else. Um, gives me more storage up front, having the live well up front. Just use it for more storage right here instead of there we go more storage um you know i see the the bass versions of this i think like the ranger 188 and uh the triton 18 footer that's set up for bass fishing um they've got uh you know rod locker that sort of thing rod locker is right there and I use it again pretty much for storage because I, I mainly crappie fish. Um, so I've got the Millennium rod racks over there. Plenty of room. They're out of the way. Uh, the Shade Dream from Millennium for umbrella holder also will option in for uh, a net, your dip net. Uh, there's a Big T um, extending Jinko uh, fish net. So it sticks right here if you want to double up up front. Um, of course, double pedestals, double pedestals, one over there, one over here, plenty of room across the front of this boat. I love that the cleats are on the inside, 
okay? They're out of the way where you don't trip or you don't get your rods hung up. I think they may be putting collapsible cleats on some of the newer ones, but this is a, a 19. Um, just got the cornfield crappie um, monitor mount installed. I'm gonna be putting a uh, hummingbird here on the bottom to run on the, the mega down imaging and for my eye link, um, for my eye pilot. Minn Kota Ultrex. So have a hummingbird here and we've got the uh, 93 SV up here with live scope. Got that set up on uh, perspective right now. All right, so then we got, I've got the um, Millennium Spider Rig mounts here where you can pop them in, pop them off. A lot of, yeah, I see different guys that like the um, individual, you know, you can feel uh, which one they're hitting if they're all, you know, individually mounted and uh, Anyway, I like this. They're out of the way. I'm very nitty about where everything is placed and room um, Of course, this version does not have a recessed um, Trolling motor uh, pedal uh, It sets up here on the top. I do I move it a lot So I'm not real keen on it being it's stuck in one place I may move around the boat stand over there pull it over there so I like that storage here again. So it's a great place for the Plano boxes again, right there, right here under your feet, close to you. I can put some essentials in there that I need uh, when I'm fishing. Uh, okay, so, and again, the Millennium seat. God, this stuff is great. Love these seats, comfortable. Uh, I went ahead and installed a bubbler underneath the dash that I turn on with a switch right here. Um, got all the, everything turned off right now by the main switches there for trolling motor. And there's a switch on this side for the rest of the boat, other than the micro anchor, which I wired straight in. Oh, by the way, in case you don't know it, the, uh, Pro XS 115, <clears throat> also a little lighter, <clears throat> a little lighter motor. I forget, like maybe 60 pounds or so lighter than the, uh, Yamaha, um, I think they all run about the same speed. You're gonna run in that 40 to 50 mile an hour range. Um, but it's got a charging system. So I think it's been, it's helped keep my uh, cranking battery charged, even though we have a three bank charger under there. I've got a three bank charger. Um, two years, no issues with the charging systems, worked well. Um, okay, so back to the bubbler. I got that ran. I just, this compartment, it's not a compartment. It's actually just a space here. Um, <clears throat> you can unscrew this top right here. Really, they could have turned it into another storage space. I could do it possibly myself. But what I've done is I put my black box, my module for my um, live scope under here, along with a network box um, to run the Ethernet cords from that Garmin to that Garmin and pair it all up so you can see everything from the uh, side imaging uh, on the rear transducer to the uh, live scope uh, imagery. Plays on both of those. So that's that. All right, now the, let's get to the trailer. Um, terrible trailer, horrendous. Um, you can see where I've ran it into the front end of the trailer. You can see where I've ran it into the front end of the trailer here couple of times just because I've added extra skids to it. So there's an extra skid. I actually haven't been out with it yet. Put it right here. I'm hoping it'll help center the boat up. It's bad about riding off to the side, landing on your uh, wheel well. You have to get to the back of the boat and push it back over and get it lined up. Just terrible trailer. I think one of the couple of things that Ranger did was they had better seats and uh, better trailers they were offering with theirs. Did get a spare with it. Um, you know, good um, jack stand, stow, stowaway uh, tongue. That helps get in, in certain spaces and for safety purposes, you can close it up, put a lock in it. Nobody can hook up to it and leave with it. Um, what else, what else? Uh, pretty much is it, you know, storage again, dry storage. A uh, live well again that I've, I'm using for storage and a uh, nice big lock, rod locker. You know, it doesn't hold 18 rods like the professionals carry, but you know, carry a lot of my rods right here uh, that are, you know, 12, 14, and 16 feet long. 
And because the boat is so wide, there's plenty of room, plenty of room but for all three people to sit. Uh, so now <clears throat> on the downside, the space between the bottom of that steering wheel and your knees, even though there's a lot of leg room and you can come in from the side, you're not having to pull your legs around and tuck them under, it's still really, really bad. Um, I feel like the console should have been a little higher. And if it hadn't, if I hadn't added the base star power steering uh, to this boat, the steering wheel would have been even further in and closer to your knees to make it even worse, I believe. But uh, the base star certainly makes it comfortable. I advise anybody to go ahead. When you get up to this 115 size, it's just comfortable driving. Uh, and I, I, I definitely wish something were different about the seating um, arrangements, the heights. You know, they're a little low. I've uh, been in some other boats recently, uh, other friends with 18-foot expresses, that sort of thing, and I really like to ride on this boat. Um, you know, yeah, it's a semi-V, uh, flat-bottom style boat, but it's very comfortable walking in it. It's very comfortable. Uh, not a lot of... Uh, moving around uh you can stand up ease around in the boat you don't feel like it's rocking so much and uh it's functional from one end to the other low profile uh it, it actually videos even i think smaller than it really is but it, compared to some other boats that are just really tall it's it's seamless out on the water you can get into some tight spots low-lying trees I, I i fish brush piles so I enjoy getting back in the meat of things, and you can do it in this boat uh, to some degree. Um, so the trailer is a negative. Steering wheel height is a negative. Uh, you know, you just can't get real comfortable. Basically, you have to sit with your legs straight out all the time. Um, speed is great. Fuel consumption, not so good. Uses a lot more fuel than I was hoping it would, but uh, not the worst. But uh, the black... The black shiny paint, uh, even though it looks good, it does show everything. Some other guys have talked about that on their YouTube videos. Um, you just end up with a lot of uh, little scuffs here and there that show up much easier. I'm hoping to wrap the boat in the near future. So that'll take care of some of that. But overall, it's a fishing machine. Um, can't imagine having anything else. Oh, back to the bubbler. Did I ever finish that? I put the bubbler under here, put it on a switch. So I can uh, feed my, my minnows um, right here close to me and I have another one mounted in the back and I drilled up through uh, the floor right over there and, and have a hose for the rear fishermen. Uh, so everybody's, you know, just get tired of those little battery operated bubblers. Uh, and that's made it a lot more convenient. And we're all about being convenient. So, yeah, that's my Triton. Uh, I definitely encourage anybody to look at them. Oh, I did have another issue. One of these uh, um, greaseless vault uh, hubs lost everything. And I actually have a bent this side. You can probably see is in at the top. You, can, you can't even see the, the wheel, really. And all right, and let's go to the other side. Check this one out. And over here, uh, you can see that it's out. Uh, it's out a little bit. And I lost grease in one of them. Noticed that it was getting all over the tire, so I pulled the, the vault hub, greased it, put it all back together. Don't see any other grease. Haven't lost anything. I had the bulbs, uh, the, the standard auto bulbs that come in the waterproof lights, of course, they didn't last. The water got inside. So I popped it out, put a new bulb in, and then I went ahead and, and siliconed the, uh, the little inside casing, the clear casing that holds the bulb. Next time they go out, I'm just going to convert to LED. Uh, but I went ahead and sealed it to give it one more try. So the lights... No good. Trailer, not so good. You got to have a real good landing to deal with. Backing in the water, the landing needs to be pretty even keeled, and that way it'll 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 glide up on the uh, trailer uh, with a little bit of work. But any hard dip in the uh, in the 
the landing itself and you end up, uh, you know, running off one way or the other and, and scuffing the boat and possibly dinging up the trailer some. But, so I added the extra skids underneath. Um, steering wheel, we talked about that. Plenty of fishing room. You can bass fish from this deck um, and uh, get in some pretty shallow water. I've gone in some places that uh, you know you couldn't you couldn't go if you were in a a larger glass heavy glass bottom boat or glass boat. So anyway, that's our Triton.